Shalom. Shalom. First and foremost, let's start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Kakadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles, the great Milton, that we will. Peace and blessings to like the Israel, Shalom, and above all. Back at it with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Lord's will, the video is edifying. And uh, through the spirit, we just wanted to flow through the spirit, touch on a couple things, you know, brothers just chopping it up. So through the spirit, Lord will, this video is edifying. All right, and um, you, you got a precept? Whoever got a precept can start with a precept, you know, because uh, we wanted to get on Eve too, especially, man, because you women, you gonna, a lot of you women, man, you gonna pay. You gonna pay, man, because y'all out of order, y'all are at ease, okay, y'all think shit is sweet, you know, but the Lord is gonna make you pay. He's gonna get you with that wake up call, because a lot of you Eve's asleep right now, man. Right. Oh, uh, Sirach 25? Sirach 25. Con. And 24. And then I got this precept real quick through the spirit. But I'm let the brother get his first. 25 and 24. Con. All right. This is uh, Ecclesiastic. This is Sirach chapter 25, verse 24. And it reads, Of the woman came the beginning of sin, and through her we all die. And that's right. You could even, you know, look at that from the beginning with the serpent, you know. Right. And you, you even see through today how um how you know Eve is or you know the woman is wicked. You know, King Solomon had a thousand wives, you know, none of them were righteous, man. So how much more today in these days, man? Con. Yeah. That's right. You got your precept? Con. And you know, th these women out here is very prideful. Alright, and, and ultimately that pride is gonna be their downfall. And you know, this is a uh, Sirach 10. Um, I'm gonna start at uh, I'm gonna start at verse 12. The point is really 13, but I'm gonna start at 12. The beginning of pride is when one departs from Yahweh, and his heart is turned away from his baker. For pride is the beginning of sin, and he that hath Shalak, and he that hath it shall pour out abomination, and therefore the Lord brought upon them strange calamities and overthrew them utterly. Alright, so you know. Pride is gonna be the downfall of, of these of these you know these Jake women out here, all right? Because they're very prideful, all right? They 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 think they could do it all by themselves, you know? They they, they believe they don't have, need no man, Miss Independent, all right? They they all got that city girl mentality. You see how Edomite's pushing out that that narrative out there through you know through the music industry, through the movies, through 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 the fashion. Jake. They're 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 pulling all that out there, all right? And you see, that's like the main thing that that, that main vibration they're pushing out is for, for for these women to stay prideful. That's why you got these the, all these female rappers nowadays. Like this shit is through. That's right, and you know, and it wasn't always like this, but you know, it goes back to the curses, cause you know, E put our woman above us, man. And you see that through these times, because you see, like like the brother was getting into, you know, I don't need no man. A man can't do nothing for me. You know, so. That, that just to show you the wickedness through E because, you know, these women truly believe in their mind that they don't need no man. But, you know, when something happens, who do they call? You know, in a time of need, who do they run who do they run to? You know, in, in a battle, you don't got no woman in, at the forefront. So they truly, you know, deceiving themselves. But, you know, that just shows you. Con. You got something, brother? Yeah, this is Deuteronomy 28 and uh, verse um, 56. The tender and delicate woman among you, which would not adventure to set the sole of her foot upon the ground. That's the spirit, because we just talked about our feet not touching the ground. Oh. That's how that's how tender our women were back then, man. All right? Our women had a form of virtue. You know, they were so tender and, you know, effeminate that, you know, they didn't even want to let their feet touch the ground. Now what? You see these bitches out here, they be walking here barefoot, you know, looking busted, you know, being masculine and shit like that. All right, but it says... The tender and delicate woman among you, which would not have ventured to set the sole of her foot upon the ground for delicateness and tenderness, her eyes shall be evil towards the husband of her bosom and towards her son and towards her daughter and towards her young one that cometh out from between her feet and towards her children, which she shall bear, for she shall eat them for want of all things secretly in the siege and straightness wherewith thy enemy shall distress thee in the gates. You know, so that's the point on that right there. Okay, these women be tender and delicate, you know, 
they'll be uh they, they got their eye evil towards their husband towards their children you know so on and so forth you can sit over here bro and, um, Nah, no, you got that. Out. Con, and um, another precept I wanted to pull out. This is a Sirach or Ecclesiasticus. This is a Sirach or Ecclesiasticus, chapter 9, verse 8. Turn away thy eye from a beautiful woman, and look not upon another's beauty. For many have been deceived by the beauty of a woman. For here with love is kindled as a fire. All right, a lot of these Jake men, all right, they're going now sad by the woman that they think is beautiful. All right, and, and nine times out of, like, ten times out of ten. Every time there's a setup in the world, all right, you always see Jake try to set up another man with a beautiful woman. You got a beautiful all right. woman, all right, out there trying to set you up for another man to come through and either rob you, kill you, set you up however way. All right, these, these women is wicked. These women is prideful. All right, you can't, you can't just instantly try to, damn, that girl look good, and that's the first thing you go to. All right, like all it right. says in the scriptures. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you got some. Go ahead. Now I was going to say, you know, a lot of, you know, a lot of downfalls that come, you know, with a man is, you know, because of the woman, you know, a lot of men have, uh, how can I say it, you know, outside. a lot of men went outside because of a woman, man, like the brother said, you know, a woman setting dudes up, but I got a precept, this is Proverbs, uh, chapter 21, verse 19, and it reads, it is better to dwell in the wilderness than with a uh, contentious and angry woman, man, this scripture say it's better to dwell in the wilderness, man, because these women is wicked, man. Right. <laughs> so, and that's the thing. We getting ready to dwell into the, into the wilderness soon with Jacob's trouble, man. You know, but the Lord, and I've had moments like that where, you know, me and my Eve have been fighting where I just leave the house and just go on a walk, you know, right. clear my mind. Go in the wilderness, so to speak, man, because that's how you women be, but that's because that's the curses. Like the brother brought up earlier, your eye is evil towards your husband and towards your children, man. Right. All right. Uh, the elders was just talking about how there was an instance where this Eve had some nigga shoot up her baby daddy's house with her son in there, you know, because she was saying how, oh, why you took my son from me? Matter of fact, fuck you and them kids. That's the curses. And then on top of that, like the brother said, Esau has set up the woman above the man. This is this society is a gynocentric society, the society where it puts the pussy on a pedestal. But that's the scriptures because that was prophecy. All right. And this, this is Jeremiah 31 and 22. How long will thou go about, O thou backsliding daughter? For the Lord hath created a new thing in the earth. A woman shall compass a man. So that's what oh. you're seeing now, man. That's present day. But the Lord, he's getting ready to flip the roles, man. All right? right. And that's when that Isaiah 4 and 1 come into play. That's right. You, you know? Seven, uh, seven women to one man. Yep, seven place. women take hold of one man. Because they, they're going to see shit getting real out here, man. That's right. All right, you women, you're going to get a mean wake-up call, man. Because you... You living in a fantasy. Rightfully deserved too, man. Yeah. You know, Eve put it in their mind as if, you know, as the, as if they better than, you know, us. Now, don't get me wrong. You do have some um, wicked men too. That's why the scriptures say in uh, Sirach, uh, Sirach chapter 23, or no, chapter 26, verse 23, a wicked woman is given as a portion to a wicked man, but a godly woman is given to him that feareth the Lord. So, you know... You know, you wicked dudes, you know, deserve those wicked women, you know? Yeah, Con, I got a precept to back you up. Con. You got something you got to talk? Um, you, you got it. Con, this is Ecclesiastes chapter 7, starting at verse 26. And I find more bitter than death the woman whose heart is snares and nets, meaning her mind is snares and nets. She's always trying to trap you up. A woman, she always trying to trap you up, find out a way how she can outdo you, out finesse you. You know what I'm saying? Because that's, because they can't, they can't shoot the dukes with you, so they got to, fight you mentally and that's why eve when she when y'all get in a fight she gonna hit you where it hurts she gonna talk shit about you she gonna say some shit where it's like damn bitch what the fuck you know because because why because her mind is snares and net she's always looking to trap you up man and before you get to appreciate let me just mention one thing and that's the spirit because you know eve is the biggest white card she's the biggest finesse mm -hmm. you know a lot of serpent serpent a lot of men have died or you know been in situations because they were trying to do things to appease Eve. They would rob somebody just to get something for Eve. Scripture on that. Drake, Drake going <laughs> off. Just, Drake like to go off just to look good to Eve. Drake want to be a want to be a game bringer, catching bodies just for for the for the uh, for wicked ass of, Eve. Of, of for Eve. Wicked ass, it, and, and, and that's why it just shows you how you know how low we've been brought because 
We're the prize. As men, we are the prize. Right, I got, I got, I got, I got a priest up. I've been holding this up. I'll go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm going to finish this one after you. All right. Get it. Calm, but... Yeah, so you know, Eve, Eve is all about the mind games, all right? If you aren't strong mentally, man, Eve is going to run run, run circles around you, all right? They're going to run circles around you after circle, lap after, after lap. And this is uh, Ecclesiasticus or Sirach 6, uh, starting at verse 32. My son, if thou wilt, thou shalt be taught, and if thou wilt apply thy mind, thou shalt be prudent. If thou love to hear, thou shalt receive understanding. And if thou bow thy ear, thou shalt be wise. Okay, you can't, you can't, you gotta be wise with these women, man. You can't be out here moving however you, however you please be. You can't move, I should say, off of your flesh. All right, because Ooh. ultimately moving off your flesh, you won't be through. That's the spirit. I did a lesson on that this earlier this morning. This is Galatians chapter 5 and verse 16. It says, this I say then... Walk in the spirit, and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. You know, just like the brother said, you gotta walk in the in the spirit, cause your flesh gonna think, damn, that bitch got a fat ass, mm -hmm. but you know she a whole ass demon. Mm -hmm. You know, and she got a nigga, but you don't care, cause that ass fat. Fuck it. Mm -hmm. That's you thinking in the flesh. Now we all have moments where we think in the flesh, cause we're in the flesh. That's why it's a fight. The scriptures say, fight the good fight of faith. But nonetheless, you have to operate in the spirit as much as possible, especially now in these last days, cause. We got to be more circumspect than ever, man. Because right. Esau, it ain't nothing. Esau does this with government officials. So how much more, you know, trying to set a brother up? It ain't nothing for Esau to send a bitch by the camp, you know, act like she fucking with a brother, you know, mm -hmm. get his number, find out where he stayed, da da da, -da mm -hmm. play the role. And then next thing you know, like Samson and Delilah, you know, when Samson was asleep, what does Delilah say? Samson, the Philistines be upon thee, you know? And then next thing you know, he wake up, the Philistines binding him up to snatch him up, take him to jail. He trying to fight him back, but he can't because the bitch cut his dread, um, cut his locks off. The most dangerous spot to a man is a female spot. Yeah. That's the right. most dangerous spot. Yeah, because the thing is, Eve sees certain things that brothers won't see, mm -hmm. you know? And, and, you know, I'm sure brothers can imagine where I'm going with this, but still, you know, when shit gets sweet, you know, a brother might be pillow talking with a E, and next thing you know, she on the other line on the phone, oh yeah, tell me more. Why she writing everything down, she got the drop on you, all that mm -hmm. shit, man. And you really got to think like that, because that's how they think, man. That's how they get down, man. Biggest finesse. Yeah, the scriptures say, give me any wickedness but the wickedness of a woman. Let me read right. that real quick. That's in Sirach, or Ecclesiasticus in the Apocrypha, chapter um, 25 and verse 13. Give me any plague but the plague of the heart. Meaning, give me any sickness but the sickness of the mind. It says, and give me any wickedness but the wickedness of a woman. Oh. <laughs> it says, and any affliction but the from but the affliction from them that hate me, and any revenge but the revenge of enemies, man. Ooh, okay. I'll show you how wicked the woman is, man. Mm -hmm. Now, don't get me wrong. You know we love women, but on this side there are enemy, man. Yeah, they throw. Cause look, this is uh, Proverbs chapter fourteen, verse one. Every wise woman built it her house, you know, meaning that, you know, a wise woman, she knows what she got, you know, she's not going to complain, but you know what, all women are ungrateful, and, and anything you do is not enough, you know what I'm saying, but to keep reading, but the foolish woman plucked it down with her own hands, meaning that, you know, you could be doing everything you can, you could be doing, you know, as the world seems, being the right guy, but here you have Eve being a demon. You know, tearing down her own house for no reason. Because that's just how she is. Yeah, and I actually got a precept real quick. I'm going to go back to Ecclesiastes. This is Ecclesiastes chapter 7 and verse 26. I'll read it again. Ecclesiastes after the book of Proverbs. And I find more bitter than death the woman whose heart is snares and nets and her hands as bands, meaning traps. Come on. Whoso pleaseth the most high shall escape from her. But the sinner shall be taken by her. And I'm reason why I'm bringing it out, because bouncing off what the brother said earlier, you wicked dudes, you get caught up by Eve. You know, you get caught up in Eve's traps. Yep. All right, because that's what ultimately Eve is all about, traps. Now, the woman does have her purpose, you know, in righteousness. Like scriptures say, the Lord hath created all things for their uses. But the Lord could take a good thing and turn it into a bad thing. Yes, Perfect right. example, water. You know, you need water for your body, you know, for your for your uh, essential as, as life, carnally. You need water. But the Lord can make you drown internally. You know, the Lord can make you fucking drown externally. The Lord used water to flood the earth and destroy everything. So the Lord can turn a good thing into a bad thing. Same thing with Eve. The Lord can set you up with an Eve. You know, it might be working out for you, but the Lord can make her become a demon. Brothers be experiencing it all the time. Brothers be having a good day. You know, ain't nothing wrong. Ain't nothing wrong. But <laughs> that only, that one thing, Eve acting like a demon today. For no you know what reason. I'm saying? Yeah. 
you know, and that's that's what it is. So it says her hands as bands, right? Whoso pleases the most high shall escape from her, but the sinner be, shall be taken by her. Verse 27. Behold, this I have I found, say, if the preacher, counting one by one, to find the account, which yet my soul seeketh, but I find not. One man among a thousand have I found, meaning among a thousand men, you will find one righteous man, right? Come on. It says, but a woman among all those have I not found. So here it is. He's saying, I went through a thousand women. I ain't find one righteous man. Oh. And that was King Solomon back in his days in his kingdom. So the women had a lot more virtue than what they have today, man. Not saying that no woman is going to make it because scriptures talk about the elect lady, so on and so forth. But the point is, like, a lot of these women are out of order, man. So when it comes to dealing with Eve, man, you know, deal wisely. That's right. All right, because it says it right there. Her heart is as nets. And snares, man. All right, she always looking how to trap you up, take you off your high horse, man. Eve always looking at a way how to uh, offend you in some type of way. Oh, right. oh, she might fucking talk shit, and be like, your breath stink, you know. A brother might be like, hey, yo, I need a mint, you know. A brother might spare your feelings, but Eve, Ooh. Eve ain't trying to spare yeah, you, man. Too and it, so like you, just a quick point. Uh -huh. And the thing about Eve too, it be out of maliciousness. Mm -hmm. If a brother get on you, a brother might say, ah, your breath stink, whatever, da 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 da. It's out of love. Eve, once you do that, she trying to hurt your feelings, man. That's right. Man. It's real shit. Hold on, before you go, let me bring this out. This is Proverbs uh, chapter 5. Um, let me start from the top. My son, attend unto my wisdom, and by thy ear to my understanding, that thou mayest regard discretion, and that thy lips, shalakim, and that thy lips may keep knowledge. Verse 3. For the lips of a strange woman drop as a honeycomb, meaning that, you know, they'll come up to you speaking all sweet. Let me keep reading. And her mouth is smoother than oil, hmm. but her... So, so like, you, like what they said about Esau. Huh. His tongue was smooth as oil and, and, and soft as butter, but yet war was in his heart. That's right. That's the same shit they said about Esau. And who was, who was the serpent able to come fuck with in the garden? Eve. Eve. That's right. That's why you see Eve and Esau today. The they tag team partners, man. Let me keep reading. It's verse 4. <laughs> but her end... Is bitter as warm wood, sharp as a two-edged sword, man. Ooh. You know, that's just to back you up, man. That these E's, you know, like like the brother say, working tell to tell with Esau, you know, they were set up to be, you know, higher than us on this side, man. That's why they feel as if they could talk to you anyway. You know, they, they don't got no order, you know. Say it right there in the scriptures. Yep, and that can also apply to that's different probably. doctrines and philosophies as well. Out. Uh, go ahead. Go I'll, ahead. I'll, I forgot. I got um. I got this one precept though. It's like the brother said, we are the prize, and that's the thing. As a Jake man, we lost our value. Come on. You know, because we ultimately lost our connection with Yahweh Shem El Shai, and that is where our value comes from. You know. So now the Lord, He's returning us back to our heritage. He's returning us back to who we truly are. We're the sons of God, man. All right. We're the Israelites, man. Princes of the power, man. And the Lord, He's starting to show us who we are here in these last days. This is Isaiah 13 and 12. I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man than the golden wedge of Ophir. So the Lord said he's going to make a man more precious than fine gold. In these upcoming times, you know, even now, these women are starting to see that, okay, I need to go and get me a man of the Lord. Uh. Especially in these times, because when all hell breaks loose, man, these niggas in the world, I don't care how fuck P Pookie and Ray Ray <laughs> try to uh, portray themselves to be so tough, man. I don't care how tough they try to act. They not going to be winning, man. You, you niggas out here are losing, man. You see it too. What's sick Edward say? A man will be scared? Yeah, he said, the school, hey, the scripture say that the day of the Lord, even the mighty man shall cry there bitterly. How much more you women, man? Yeah. If mighty men are crying like women in that day, how much more? Matter of fact, I'll get the scripture, man. Get that scripture, it's man. It's Jeremiah 30, and uh, starting at verse 5. For thus saith the Lord, we have heard a voice of trembling, of fear, and not of peace. Because that's all you're going to be hearing during Jacob's trouble. Trembling, fear, and not of peace, man. I had a dream one time while I was running away, and I didn't even look back, which is spiritual too, because the scriptures say, remember Lot's wife. Uh -huh. Once you come in this thing, man, don't look back. Keep that's pushing right. forward. Keep moving towards that mark. Don't be worried about what the fuck you left in the world. You left it in the world for a reason. Uh -huh. This is Jeremiah 30 and 5. But that said, the Lord, we have heard a voice of trembling, of fear, and not of peace. But moving forward to the dream, I was running away, and I wasn't looking back. And I'm hearing in the background, ah! Duh, 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 duh. Ah! screeching, screaming, gunshots going off, man. All right? But I was running away, you know, because that was like a scene during Jacob's trouble. All right? That's what you're going to be hearing, the voice of trembling, of fear, and not of peace. It says, ask ye now and see, 
whether a man doth travail with child. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins, as a woman in travail, and all faces are turned into paleness? Alas, alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Referring to the elect. The elect going to be saved out of these upcoming times. All right. But it says, ask and see if you see a man travailing with child. Meaning, go and find out if you see a pregnant man, you know, giving birth to a baby. Because you know how a woman is when she's pregnant. She's screaming. She's carrying on. She's cursing everybody out. That's why these men going to be like in these last days, man. Because the Lord, he's getting ready to turn up the heat, man. Esau getting ready to roll with that martial law. Joe Biden getting ready to be put into office tomorrow, if it be the Lord's will. All right, and he and he said the first hundred days he's in office, what does he want to do? He wants to implement the vaccine. He wants to implement the mask. You know. It says I heard uh, too. I believe it, uh, if it's not the first day, it's the second day or the first week. He he has ten executive orders that's ready to go on the first day or the second day, I believe. He also said in his first one hundred days he's gonna try to distribute a hundred million vaccine uh, vaccinations. So like him, con. But uh, I wanted to go back on your point because you know the reason why Eve. It's like this is because the curses and we went away from the most high. Right. You know, so I, this is uh J D by this up. Now go ahead. Uh this is Jeremiah chapter three, verse twenty. Surely as a wife treacherously departed from her husband, mm. so has ye dealt treacherously with me. O house of Israel, said the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahshua. So you know the Lord saying, because you know we went away from him, this is what we dealing with now. Yep. It's, yeah. it's really just a punishment right now. Punishment, yeah. It's really just a punishment, man. You know, our women turning their backs on us, a woman being out of order, women being disrespectful, you know, women not knowing their places, man. It's just a punishment, man. This is the last thing. Back in the ancient, this will be the last thing that an Israelite man would think to be happening right now to their women. Right. This is the last thing. And you see, you see how, how, how the judgment is so real. You see how Yahweh Bashem Yahshai hits us with this judgment for, 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 for turning our backs on him. Uh, he, right, he, he basically hits us at our pussy. He basically gets us at the pussy. Right. You know, he know Jake how much pussy. Jake loves. Yeah, yeah, you feel me? We love the box. So he basically gets you at, at weight what you love. Man. Hell yeah, because if Jake, if shit was sweet with Eve. Jake would just be like, fuck it, I can endure yeah, a little I longer. I could be in Babylon, Babylon little for a little longer. Yeah, you know? like, <laughs> even you know order. He give me boss whenever I want it. Man. Now don't get me wrong, you do have, you know, you do have Eve that do right by their man, but that's ultimately if you right with your how about Shim Yah Shah. Now don't get me wrong, you still, you know, have Eve, you know, you still dealing with Eve cause we in this flesh, but yeah, troubles you know, in the flesh. That's right, but you know, once you get right with your how about Shim Yah Shah and you learn the scriptures, you start to see, you know, that you can deal with Eve, you know, better. I'm not saying that if she dwell right with you, I'm if she doesn't, uh, then you cut her off. But you know what I'm saying? Yeah, because yeah, too, you know, coming to this walk, you see how you feel me. You see, with especially speaking of the tribe, you see how certain women of the tribes move according to the scriptures, and that correlates with how the women, um, women nowadays, you feel me, of the tribes still move. Okay, you see, oh, a Gadite woman act like this in the scriptures, and to this day, a Gadite woman still acts the same, and that proves to you. Also, you know who's the tribes. Yeah, calm. All right, and you Spirit know, you know, witness. calm. We were just talking about that before we calm. cut on the camera too. How calm. do I know if I'm a Jake? Calm. You <laughs> feel me? And, and you just know, you feel me? Spirit, bear witness. You know, coming in this truth, it's like I ain't gonna lie. It's like for me, I feel like I got a little more saucy. You know what I'm saying? Cause, you know, back in the world, <laughs> yo, Eve. You was, did though. Uh, God, you hey, did. back in the world, if your Eve uh, trespass against you, you'll be like, damn, why she, why she, doing, like why she doing that? But now it's like, yeah, it's all you, of the Lord. Come come on, you feel right. me? Scriptures, you know, she could have been right with the Lord. She could have been with woman. Y'all watch my side. Say, no, I'ma just. You see, you see that she was wicked, I'm going to take her out. Yeah. So it's like, okay, boom, now you strong mentally. Because if you strong mentally, man, it's just all the, it's really, you got to be strong That's what it is, the battlefield is in the mind. Right, Especially man. dealing with Eve. And her Eve heart is that playing my, Eve love playing She love mind, mind games, man. Right, man. So you got to play with them. They but you just do it with, with wisdom. Yeah, we playing chess, not checkers. Yeah, con. Especially when you're dealing with Eve, because they are enemies too. But Esau, he's a physical threat. Eve is a psychological, Esau is a psychological threat too, but Esau is more of a physical threat than a psychological one. Esau still plays psychological warfare too, don't get me wrong, but that's really a, a um, psychological warfare is really a woman tactic, you know? Oh, so where was you when this happened? Or 
how was your day? You know, they would try to do little shit like that, knowing what the fuck you was doing. I be seeing memes all the time on Instagram when a nigga about to lie, when a nigga, when you ask a nigga a question, you know, he about to lie to you. You know, they be showing the bitch face and shit like that. Uh, you know, Eve, Eve loved shit like that, man. She Eve, loved that. Eve think they got the one up on you. Yeah, yes, her heart is as snares and nets, man. Right, she always man. trying to trap you up, man. And that's the thing about you women. You women are really the ones gonna be trapped up because the Lord got you in a trick bag because you think you the shit. You know, you think you're something you're not. The Lord's getting ready to humble you women, man. A lot of you women out here, here in these last days, if you ain't right, you're going to be getting mauled down in the streets. Niggas going to be raping you to death. All right? All types of shit. You're going to be getting sold and traffic sex rings. All that shit, man. Because it's going to be a time of all hell breaking loose, man. A lot of them niggas in prison, they're going to break out them prisons. And they're going to be looking for boxing that day, man. I remember and we were talking about that in the, in the fellowship. Cause, mind you, man been locked up for years. Ain't, ain't seen a woman Box ain't seen a woman in general. All they got, you know, whatever they got while they locked up. When they hey. coming out, they testosterone up. Oh, what? Hey, you talking about playing. prison. These, these men in prison be, they be so woman deprived that they go for for, for men. Ooh, oh, we was talking about that. Just Even a, men gonna be getting Come on, man. Just yep. imagine, Men gonna man. be getting ravaged. Yeah, you men too. <laughs> men too. Ravaged. But you women don't got no fucking... So, hey, but, but but like the brother was saying, man, all these things is coming, man. These, but you know, Eve don't think these stuff about to happen. Mm -hmm. That's why they taking this lightly. They, you know, oh, they just talking shit. They oh, y'all just, just mad. Who broke your heart? Come on. Hey, don't worry about all that. You need to worry about getting right with the Lord, cause the scriptures say in Isaiah 13 and 12. They worrying about the wrong. Oh no, no, it's like yeah, Isaiah. Yeah, come. It's a lot, bro. A lot of this is Isaiah um 13. And uh, verse um, 16, it says, Their children also shall be dashed to pieces before their eyes, their houses shall be spoiled, and their wives ravished. All right? A lot of you women going to be getting ravished out here, man. And you ain't going to have no man to protect you because a lot of these two-third niggas, Pookie and Ray Ray, they going to be getting killed during Jacob's trouble too, man. Because they're not going to be... Because the Lord got somewhere. All, the Lord got a controversy with damn near everybody, man. That's why the scriptures say, The slain of the Lord shall be many. All right, because a lot of death is going to be happening here in these last days because these people ain't right. And the Lord, he's coming back to judge. Here it is. He gave you time to repent, and you didn't want to take heed. Now it's time to die. Yeah, Khan, especially for you people that, that see the prophets on the highways and bowers, and you walk by and scoff and laugh and keep it pushing like, you feel me, it's all sweet. But shit, shit about to get it's realized. Lit, it's lit. Khan, oh, I mean, realize. Yeah, man, you got these women thinking that they could tell you something about the doctrine, man. What did the preacher say? I suffer you not? It says, yeah, I suffer not a woman to teach, nor the use of authority over a man. Here it is, Evie trying to break down the scriptures to you. What? And you that shit is out of order, bro. Come on, man. man. <laughs> Evie trying that to tell you something, all of us just now, man. We all just like, that just shows you how out of order Eve is, man. That just shows you. You feel me? We tired of Babylon, man. We trying to, look, when we part that number, but we trying to make it up out of here in those chariots, man. Con, this is 2 Ezra 9, starting at verse 7. And everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith, whereby ye have believed. So you need faith and works to get you about this place. Con. Verse 8. Shall be preserved from the sad perils and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders. For I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. Ooh. Verse 9. Then shall they be in pitiful case, which now have abused my ways, and have cast them away despitefully, shall dwell in torments. For such as in their life have received benefits, and have not known me. First John 2 and 4 tells you what it means to know the Lord. First John 2 and 4 says, He that saith he knows me, and keepeth not his commandments, is a liar, and the truth is not in him. Verse uh, 10. For such as in their life have received benefits, and have not known me. So you living it up, you receiving your... Fucking your baby daddy's paycheck, you know, every every other month. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you tripping, huh? <laughs> you got some more uh, <laughs> broken down con, follows con, right oh, there. Con, 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 but uh, but like I said, you receiving benefits. You getting your welfare check, your food stamps. You receiving your baby daddy paycheck, so on and so forth. Well, that's that's you getting them benefits. And that and, and there's nothing wrong with uh, receiving welfare or anything like that. But it's a lot of times you women do it with a uh, with a uh, malicious intent, man. That's right. All right, and you, and it says, and have not known me. It says, and they that have loathed my law, meaning you hated the Most High's law. It says, while they had yet liberty, and when as yet a place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despised it. The same must know it after death by pain. So you're gonna know death by pain, man. A lot of you niggas and women are gonna know death by pain because you despise the ways of the Lord, man. Rightfully to serve, man. Right, rightfully deserved. Right. 
You know, y'all brothers got anything else? Nah, man, we much pretty yeah. brothers on, man. <laughs> y'all women, you know, y'all women better repent, man, because it's perilous times coming, man. Sooner than later, you know, you got the prophets on the highways and byways warning you, man. Calm. But you, you know, that's why I should say lean not to thy own understanding, man. You think just because your, your, your pastor at church, you know, try to tell you something, man, that, that, that you know everything, man. So hearken to the word, hearken to the Lord's words now, man. Repent while you still have a chance. Seek the Lord while he still may be found, man. Because these times is coming, man. It, it, it's Calm. true, man. Uh, Words of the scripture is true, man. man. Everything that the scripture says came to pass, or is coming to pass, and you right. see it fulfilling in front of your eyes. We are living in a time of prophecy. Right, man. right. And right. 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 you right. so-called Latino, Native Americans, and blacks out there, man, you are the true chosen children of Israel. That's man. right. That's Come right. back to y'all, Bashem, now Shah, repent for all these laws, such your commandments, man. Fuck these eaves, man. <laughs> these eaves cannot get you your salvation, man. That's right, man. And that's why we try to make our calling and our election sure. That's why we doing this work on the highways and byways day in and day out, man. That's right. Scriptures say, uh, work out your own salvation through fear, fear and, and trembling, trembling right, man. Right. Two, the terror of the Lord is why we persuade man. It's feel me? We understand the terror of the Lord. A lot of those Jakes out there, a lot of these women out here don't understand the terror of the Lord. They don't understand that the Yahweh Shemal Shah could just set it up in a way you get in a car accident, your head could fly clean off your body. That's a judgment. Yep. You showed me that video Calm. when he was in the uh, helicopter. The, no, no, the, the 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 workshop. Oh yeah, the workshop, and man. He, he was he got his body up, got man. grinded up to a, a dust. Come on, come on. Man. That's judgment. You know he he did some wicked shit either this current life or his past life, man. Yeah, he had to pay for that, man. Come, man. That's why I say the Lord is terrible. That's why it's best to just fear the Lord, man. Calm, the Lord man. is terrible, man, because. Kind for you false prophets out there. From you pastors and preachers, other other leaders that can't push and out saying, you know, man, either the Lord is a, a power of love, you know, saying, saying the market beast is not this, telling your congregation to take the vaccine, you're going to get a fucking terrible judgment yep. by the Lord. Yeah, all right? And all those people in the congregation, too. Yep, con. The scriptures say, the servant that knew his Lord's will yet prepared not himself shall be beaten with many stripes. Ooh. But the servant that didn't know the Lord's will, he's going to be beaten with stripes, but it's going to be with fewer stripes, man. So you niggas out there who knew the truth, you wanted to go back, do your own shit, all right? You're going to die worse death than an average two-third, man, Less right. you repent, you know? Right. But that's really the point, y'all brothers got. Tell us up, bro. Hey, so with that, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh, Shah, Ba'ashem, Rekakadash. Double honor to the elders and apostles, the great Muslim, that we will peace and blessings to the elect of Israel. Shalom and the Baba Ball. Shalom and the Baba Ball. Shalom. 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 Shalom.